offering today. Uh, and also speaking of, of blessings, uh, Rachel Sarin is a tremendous blessing to both the church and the school. Uh, and she's going to speak a little bit about how she has been blessed uh, both by the church and the school. So thank you, Rachel, for being with us. Each morning, I try to thank God for my blessings and pray that he will make me a blessing in some way to someone else that day. As I started thinking of my experiences since beginning my journey here, I realized that what St. James means to me is the people and their blessings. What I haven't been prepared for is that in trying to be a blessing to others, others will become the blessings to me. Eight years ago, my husband and I moved here from Washington, D.C. While I'd moved often in my life, I found this move, with only 42 miles between the old address and new, the hardest. Maybe it was that I was newly pregnant with our first child. Maybe it was that I was having to learn the affliction many know as a commute on 66 in rush hour each day. Maybe it was not knowing anyone here not having any friends other than my husband. As I struggled to find footing in our new community, I began visiting the local churches. My experience as a preacher's kid told me that if I found the right fit, I might make some friends and maybe find a way to connect with the community. After trying several churches in the area over a period of time, I reluctantly tried St. James. I was hesitant. I wasn't Episcopalian. I'd never even set foot in an Episcopalian church. I didn't know all of their prayers or when to stand, sit, or kneel. What was I thinking? I was nervous and unsure of myself, but I went. What Father Chris said to me in the reception line after the service that day was something so personal and so meaningful. How did he know my struggles when I was just a visitor who sat in the pew for an hour? It would take me drifting in and out of this church for years to confirm what a blessing that moment had been. Eight years later, the blessings are too many to count, but I want to name a few. The first of the blessings I count in my experience with St. James is Bob Irving. It wasn't until I heard his own story just a few weeks ago that I realized just how touched I had been by his service. My parents, sister, and other extended family all live out of state. Because of Bob, my children can know that their grandparents, aunts, and uncles see them in the school's convocation ceremony, Christmas pageant, and other important days that could otherwise point out their absence. My family doesn't have to miss out on these special milestones just because they don't live nearby. Thank you, Bob. You are a blessing. The next on my list is Scott Christian who has become a blessing to me in ways I never expected. Scott's constant quest for deeper understanding, for purposeful steps in determining daily and long-term goals, and questioning of what's best for everyone involved in each situation has led me on a journey to better understand my own faith, my purpose for the school, and its vision for the future. Every time I struggle or question with what to do at school, Scott's wisdom sheds light on opportunities in ways I never would have considered. He is relentless in a subtle sort of way, <laughs> and I have him to thank for keeping a fire lit under my feet. Finally, in my long list of blessings is Stacy Urban. Her tireless smile, her vision for this school, and her positive outlook each and every day have fueled those around her to strive for more. Two years ago, when I approached her with how I'd like to help the school, she politely smiled, then said no thanks. She proceeded to tell me what she did need, and it scared the you-know-what out of me. There was no way I was capable of doing what she needed, what she wanted. But I did it, and I took that hesitant step forward. What she has seen in me and asks of me has stretched me in every aspect of my being and profession. Because of her, 
I work harder to make a difference than I ever thought I could before. Her vision of what St. James Episcopal School's mission is always stays at the forefront of the goal, and she is a source of inspiration, laughter, and perseverance to all who know her. All of these blessings and others would be unknown to me if I didn't take that timid first step through those red doors eight years ago. If you are looking for what St. James means to you, I encourage you to try the unknown. Take that unsure step. And so I would like to close with this poem that seems to capture what St. James means to me. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Thank you, Rachel. I can't tell you how glad we are you walked through those doors eight years ago, so thank you very much.